Hi, my name is Brigham Hansen. I'm a chemical engineering graduate student at Brigham Young University, and I'm working with Dr. John Hedingren and a group of undergraduate students here at BYU. We're collaborating with a local Utah company, Rodmax Oil and Gas, who are developing a hydraulically operated rod pumping unit. We're doing the automation and controls for that unit. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how some of the innovations that we've made, how we've switched over the existing control system to a more flexible, economical control system. We're going to talk about a human machine interface that we've developed on a mobile phone platform where that can be adapted to customers' needs. And finally, we're going to demo the progress that we've made on the RodMax demo unit that you can see behind me, which is here at Brigham Young University. Hello, my name is Nathan Van Cowick, and I'm going to be demonstrating to you how we replace the existing control unit with the uh, more advanced and flexible control unit that you can see here in this box. Uh, it all starts with the Opto22 programmable automatic control unit uh, and its uh, corresponding I.O. units. Each of these I.O. units are hooked up to this demo unit behind me so we can read in information and send in information as we need to. Uh, this red box is called the Groove, and this is kind of our processing unit where we can do advanced control uh, calculations and diagnostics here locally on the machine and it can regulate itself pretty much. And then we have the wireless control where we can send and receive information uh, through a desktop or mobile application. I'm Craig Schoenberger here to explain the human machine interface we've developed. Um, we're using a Groove wireless app which is available on mobile devices. And on this app, we've designed a welcome page, we've designed startup and shutdown pages, which um, start up and shut down this demo unit. There's also a page for, the, for each of the different modes, operating modes that we have. Um, and then we have uh, parameters where we can read real-time operating parameters from the demo unit, and it plots a force and position graph for us. Um, and also, there's an events page that um, will help in error handling. Okay, I'm going to explain how to use our human machine interface to start the pump. So we're going to go to our startup page, uh, we're going to enable our startup, and then to make sure our gravity pressure has enough, our gravity motor has enough pressure, we're going to jog it. And then I'm going to press the turn on button. So it turns on our gravity motor, and then the rod max motor turns on. and it's ready to operate now. Hello, my name is Jens Griffin, and today I will be showing you the three different modes that we have on this demo unit. The first mode that we have is the manual absolute move position mode. If I was to move the, the position up on the graph and then send the move command, the piston will move to that given position behind me. I can change it to wherever I would like it to go. The second mode that we have as part of this development is the manual cycle mode. In this mode, we are able to control the stroke length, the up speed, the down speed, and the dwell time of the pumping unit. So if I was to control all the parameters and then send the command, the machine will run automatically with those given parameters that I have set, and it will continue until I have stopped that running. And last but not least, the last mode that we have is the automatic mode. This mode allows us to implement the advanced process control Python script that we are currently developing to optimize the amount of oil production that this demo unit and others from Robnex will be able to be used in the field. And so, when I send the command of automatic mode, this is what it does. And so this cycle will run the Python script that we have created to calculate the downhole card, the pump village, and thus adjust the parameters on this. And that is a demonstration of the BYU Prism Group of Rod Max Oil and Gases demo unit. Thank you and have a great day.